you raffling off? I am raffling off. We're not telling you. One thousand dollars for American Airlines vouchers. Wow. To the winner, three four two two three nine. Three four two two three nine. Wow. Going once. That's a thousand bucks going out the door. Yeah, well, no, no, we'll be out to the side. Jump to the winner. Congratulations! You won a thousand dollars to American Airlines. There's a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, right. Maybe he plays Delta. The lady who won the fifty dollar OBC, we should hire you to do the screaming for yeah. everybody who. That was exciting when you won. Uh, should we move on? We got more. We got more. That's, uh, what's next? The Q&A. Is it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Questions, sometimes answers. <laughs> sometimes deflection. Sometimes we ask Ken to do it. All right, we actually can open up. What we've got is we've got staff all along the sides here. Raise your hand. We're going to go back and forth, remember, okay? But we even have staff way up there. So we've got our very first. Let's go ahead and go to this gentleman right here. And we'll just go ahead and tell us what your name is, where you're from, and how long you've been, to, what member you are. If you're one of our Crown and Anchor members, I'm what level? I'm a Pinnacle member and a shareholder. I was here last year and asked you about the San Francisco ship, and I wish you to reconsider your answer. That's number one. Number two, I think that ship should be called Super Mario of the Seas. Yeah. <laughs> number two. I think all it was the one question, by the way. It's not, it's, not, it's not like a multiple choice thing. I mean, the Super Mario of the Seas will will take that under advisement. So that's no. San Francisco, that's kind of attached to the whole California question, and I know we know we're going to ask that question a lot. I, what did I say last year? Okay, last year I may have said no. This year, maybe. <laughs> this, this year, we, the, the problem we've got is that as soon as we announce any deployment, our competitors do things. So we, we tend to only announce when we open, typically just around the time we open for sale. It's not, we're not going to California in 20, but when we open for sale 21, maybe, maybe, There'll be some good news for California in terms of all the revenue in California. So we heard you. We 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 we, we kind of we've been really thinking that through. So hopefully we'll have some exciting news for you. But sorry, I couldn't say yes today. We got one more. Hi, my name's Derek. I'm Canadian, but I live in Philadelphia, and I'm a Diamond member. Uh, my question is about the loyalty program, Crown and Anchor. Are there plans to continue, or what are the plans to continue to evolve the program? You've got a growing pyramid that has that's continuously expanding. How are you going to continue to distinguish and delight customers at the different levels? Wow. Yes. That's a tough question. Yeah. That's why Molly's got it. In 2020, we do we are looking to enhance the program as much as possible to make it more beneficial for each and every one of you. We know that it is growing so much, and it's because you all are so loyal to us, and we so much appreciate that. So, yes, we are looking at the enhancements that are coming, and, and we plan to start looking at that at the beginning of 2020. You Thank know, the you. other thing to think about is that as the... We're always adding ships to Royal Caribbean. So we've got a lot of ships coming in the next several years. That basically is adding capacity yeah. to the cruise line of about, say, 5% a year, yeah. which is, you know, when you look at the growth of the Crown and Anchor, there's some kind of relationship between the two. Yeah. So even though we've got more people joining, we've got more ships coming. Yeah. So, um, you know, but obviously we quite conscious of the, of the program itself. We think, we think the Crown and Anchor Society is one of the best there is. And uh, we're, we, we understand, we know that if we touch it, we're gonna get a lot of bad emails from you guys. So to be honest, we're too scared to mess with it. Uh, you know, 
I'm threatened at least five times a day in this corridor. You know, pushed up against a wall. And each... I heard you changing the program. We're not, honestly. It's, it's all good. And we thank you for sailing with Royal Caribbean. Yes. Okay, can we have somebody that is way down the balcony at the top? Hello. Hello. My name is Carl. How can we relocate the, lift, uh, the weightlifting room below the spa? Because there's a lot of dropping of weights. But when you're in the spa, relaxing. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> is that you, Ken, in that room? Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. So it drops the weight on the actual uh, relaxation rooms? On the floor, on the and floor. then it, it resonates through down into on the, the spa. Yeah, we probably can't uh, relocate it, but what we can do is take a look at all of it. There's supposed to be padding. I mean, the, the, the floor is built to manage some of that, but there should be padding under the weights. So we can take a look at that. Um, Thank you. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. I think we can maybe fix that. I'm looking at the captain, he says no. But thank you, we'll take it under advisement. And, uh, and, and by the way, we will for uh, our new bills as well. And we're gonna go down here over to the side. Go ahead. I'm, uh, I'm Fran from Florida, I'm Diamond Plus. Where are you, hold on. Right up here. Ken, up, over there. Up top. Okay, okay. Yeah. wait for me guys before we uh, go ahead and do that so we can go in order, okay? But go right ahead, yes. Okay. I want to know what the purchase of the hotel in Freeport is about. 